Hi, this is Sam Botstein for TractorSkills.com. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our tractor tutorials and check us out at TractorSkills.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at looping and track decks in Tractor. You can loop up to 32 beats and all the way down to 1 32nd of a beat. So in a typical quadruple meter, 32 beats would be 8 bars. 8 times 4, of course, being 32. Basically, a long loop works in such a way that you loop a significant section of the music, eight bars, and at the end of those eight bars, it goes back to the beginning. Pretty self-explanatory. If you have snap-on, when you hit a loop amount, it will actually automatically snap to the beginning of the beats, if it's properly beat created. If you snap off, it'll actually loop from wherever. So this is actually a pretty significant difference. I would recommend using Snap if you're doing a lot of the things that I'm going to show in this tutorial. So you can actually move amounts while playing, and using this you can create some interesting effects. The loop roll is a very common one that people use for transitions or even just to augment what's happening within the track. You can even do it in flux mode so that when you release it, you're right in time with the music. So let's take a look at how to do that. We're going to start with a four bar loop, and then we're going to count to four bars, and every four bars we're going to move down a subdivision all the way to one eighth. We'll take a look at uh, going beyond one eighth in a second, but here's just a really simple idea. So we're gonna count to four, and every time we count to four, we're going to move down. So as you can see, this is a pretty effective method. If we were to move beyond 1 8th, we might actually get some melodic sounding content. Here's what I mean. You can almost hear a bass note coming through there, and definitely at 1 32nd you can as well. So if you actually go to your move section and then choose loop out from the dropdown, and then click on extra fine, you can use this arrow and you can of course MIDI map this as well, to actually do what some people call plooping, which is essentially changing this note that we get via changing the loop out point in very extra fine intervals. Here's what that's like. So that's something to explore if you want to get into sort of really out looping methods. Now if you're using a hardware controller, uh, you'll probably be familiar with using a wheel to decide the loop parameters and the clickable part of the wheel to actually engage and disengage the loop. This is what you'll find on the Control Z2 and the Control X1 Mark II, but if not, you can actually map all of these controls that we looked at today in a MIDI mapping. If you use these looping methods in your DJ mixes, just make sure to let us know in a comment below. We'll check them out. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube for all of our tractor tutorials and check us out at tractorskills.com.